degree would you say that Peggy is able to have more respect and show more leadership qualities after the aftermath of all the ah. clandestine work, etc. in season one? We were just talking about that. Um, so at the end of the last season, she sort of got like applause from her co-workers. So the nice thing about her position in this year is she's not having to hide her agenda. She's not like conducting a secret investigation that she's trying to hide from SSR. They kind of respect her, which is not to say that everything's awesome in the office, and it's not to say that everybody respects her. Uh, I think Thompson is a really interesting character who's Chad Michael Murray because he knows what she can do, but he's a god. He's got a, something to be afraid of from her too, because she knows his deep dark secret about his Navy Cross. Uh, so that's a complicated relationship. But yeah, she's got a little that we, we felt we felt like we told that story, um, and so you know, we're telling you. Is it, you feel more freedom now? That's what we dealt with. It's not so much about freedom. It's it's that it's like well, let's t- you know because I didn't feel like that was constraining in that it was. It was a cool, it was a great story to tell, but I felt like, okay, that felt like a completed story. What's the new story to tell? And part of her new story is, right, she's, she's got kind of work squared away. What about your life outside of you? And is there a life outside of you? Not so much right now. <laughs> During the uh, panel, you teased that there might be some romantic opportunities for her this season. What kind of uh, pressure do you feel introducing new men into her life following Captain America? I mean, writing a guy like back in to compete with Captain America has got to be a tough act to follow. Well, that's that's actually a good point. I yeah. mean, it's people that character needs to feel different. And I think... The thing, would, the thing we keep remembering is that she fell in love with Skinny Steve, not... Yes. Bef- she fell in love with before he became the cat that the world knew. So when you're coming up with a character, it's really about finding those qualities and not necessarily this hunk of a guy with a shield. It's, it's what's inside. But we so, also we, were sort of conscious of, well, let's make him different than, let's make somebody who she'd be interested in different than Steve, different than like what, it's, it's not that she's going to fall for the same guy all the time. So, uh, it was fun, it's fun to sort of think about well, who would that be. Are there new elements you're adding from the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe or even yeah. comic book canon? Can you kind of tease out what uh, We can tease one of them, uh, which is there's a thing called Dark Force. Uh, that Blackout was on um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He was sort of created by Dark Horse. It's big in the Doctor Strange universe. So that's what popped up. <laughs> <laughs> um, it caused problems. How will the move to Los Angeles change the DNA of the show? A lot, I feel like. The, sh- the show will have a different vibe to it. Uh, we're, going, we're trying to embrace sort of a little bit of elements of film noir. Um, a little glamour. A little yeah, uh, and with that with the glamour of old Hollywood. And yeah, it doesn't, I mean, I, I would say it changes the tone of some of it, but we're, we still want it, the, at, at its core, it's still the same show. It's still fun. It's still intriguing. Part of what, when you're looking at, you're looking at is touchdowns like LA Confidential or Chinatown. What I love about those stories is you start with one little crime that doesn't seem to be anything. And then as soon as you start to dig into it, it you find out this whole kind of just web of conspiracy. Um, it just so lends itself so great to like a 10 episodes uh, and you can really kind of get into a lot of interesting places. We know some of the men that come over to the family, but what about the women? Do they follow the her as well? Uh, would like them. Like Doki, for example, or Angie, will they move to Los Angeles? Uh, we can't confirm. I will say we hope to see some familiar faces.